Hi, PerspectiveWeather.com meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Monday, July 8th. Well, what a way to start off the new work week after the holiday uh, period that we've had over the last several days. A DC deluge this morning here. It's just tr tr some tremendous rainfall in and around the DC metro region, especially to the north and to the west, places like Montgomery County and Maryland and the western side of the district and the Virginia suburb, suburbs just getting absolutely pounded with some heavy rain. Watch out for some serious localized flooding as always. Use the rule of thumb. Turn around. Don't drown. If you see a flooded roadway ahead of you, do not even attempt it. There's some reports of three, four, five inches of rain in and around the D.C. metro region from this downburst over a short period of time. Here's the overall radar, then we'll focus in on the DC metro region. Some rain extends all the way from New York City across Philadelphia region into the DC, but notice the reds here showing up on the radar. That is just some tremendous rainfall falling over the last hour or two, and it continues to uh, looks, uh, redevelop to the north and west right in this region right here. So watch out over the next couple of hours in and around DC and again it's been focused on the north and west that may shift uh, to the uh, eastern side of the district over the next couple of hours some rain in Philadelphia New York City somewhat steady rain as well not nearly as heavy at this time uh, as what is occurring in the DC metro region well let's kind of focus in on the DC metro region and again from DC points to the west just some tremendous rainfall Lots of flooding going on. Stay at, oh, at home if you have the opportunity to, to do so for at least the next couple of hours. Meanwhile, this area to the north is showing some intense red radars, echoes right here, some intense rainfall to the north of the, of the metro area. So that is headed to the northeast side of D.C. and all the way to the eastern side, P.G. County, for example, could get some tremendous rainfall over the next hour or two. Again, it extends up to Philadelphia, New York City, and this particular disturbance, but not nearly as heavy in those two metro regions. So watch out in D.C. throughout the D.C. metro region over the next couple of hours. Well, let's walk through last night's 6 e GFS model run. It does have some rain across Pennsylvania into D.C., but does not, of course, have this kind of tremendous uh, downburst that is occurring right now in the D.C. metro region. Again, some areas are reporting four or five inches of rain in just a half hour period or so, and of course grounds are extremely well saturated, so watch out for some serious flooding concerns throughout the D.C. metro region. The rain extends all the way up into New York City, primarily focused in the morning hours, there will be a tendency for clearing later on today. Could even see some sunshine in Philadelphia, New York City later on today, maybe at the very end of the day in the D.C. metro region. And then things improve here. Overnight hours tonight, probably partly cloudy skies with moderate humidity only in the uh, I-95 Carter region. Then we have a couple of nice days here, we uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. High pressure will dominate. Quite warm, but moderate humidity compared to the last several days. The next big weather maker for the northeast and mid-Atlantic will be this frontal system here. We are now moving into Thursday. Notice an area of green showing up over the Great Lakes. After a couple nice days on Tuesday and Wednesday, it will become warmer and more humid on Thursday. And a strong cold front will uh, approach the region, and that could result in some more heavy rainfall late Thursday, Thursday night, possible strong to severe thunderstorms. And here we go, and that uh, whips on through here. Maybe a residual shower or thunderstorm on Friday, uh, but uh, the, the frontal system will be mainly a Thursday night event here. And again, that could produce some strong to severe thunderstorm activity in D.C., Philadelphia, New York City, Thursday afternoon, Thursday night. Notice by Friday morning, a wave tropical wave down across uh, the western part of the Gulf of Mexico. That is another weather story we'll be monitoring over the next few days. Uh, we'll take a look right now here at where this low pressure system is. It will actually drop from the southeast U.S. to over the Gulf of Mexico and intensify over the next few days. And here it is, the latest hurricane map from the uh, National Hurricane Center. And There's a low pressure area right over Georgia this morning. It'll actually drop to the south and move over the Gulf of Mexico, then kind of meander around 
the northern Gulf of Mexico may turn to the west in this fashion uh, like this and intensify. Very well could become a tropical storm, storm by the, later in the week, maybe even a hurricane, and we'll have to monitor that. That'll become, an, of course, another uh, big weather story for later in the week, but a, kind of an unusual drop to the south of a low pressure system, and that could become a, trop a named tropical system by the end of the week. So the big story over the next couple of hours is the DC deluge. Be careful driving in and around the DC metro region. Use the old uh, rule of thumb, turn around, don't drown. There are reports of flooded out roadways, three, four, five inches of rain in a short period of time. That's it for now for PerspectiveWeather.com. I'm meteorologist Paul Orion.